Hello and welcome to the chat. Thanks for joining us. We've got a massive show for you today. Coming up, public outcry over Westboro Baptist Church's plans to picket Robin Williams' funeral. And do private schools pay off in the long run? Is this woman a good role model for women? Leah McKnight's mum also speaks about how she never gave up hope after her son was speared in the head. And the woman calling for her husband's killers to be forgiven. This is The Chat. Sydney Mum's petition has resulted in a ban on those sexist slogans on wicked camper van. So many people are apathetic and, you know, actually not carrying a conviction about doing the right thing. And so in the absence of that, a lot of wrong things do yeah. happen. Finding a purpose, a destiny in life is one of the most important things any one of us can do. Now, radio duo Carl and Jackie are in hot water again over an interview with NRL personality Aaron Molan. And on their radio show on Kiss FM recently, what happened, Nate? Eh? Subsequent questions about how many people she's been with in the sporting industry, has she been with a cricketer, and then Carl made some quite demeaning comments about her family and, and drug addictions, jokingly. But it's great to see her at the end of the interview. She stood up and said, as this will be my last time on the Carl and Jackie O show, thank you for your time. What she did was just was take a stand against bullying, because what it is is bullying. Hero's genre is hugely popular right now. Does this offer anything different? It is actually quite different because with those other films, even from DC, like Superman, Thor, Captain America, all of them, they seem to have these really strong moral compass they're really fighting from. Whereas in this film, the group that are actually the heroes, they kind of are a little bit loose about that. How do you balance work, children and home and stay sane? Yeah. Well, you know, the truth is, I tell my husband every day that I am a CEO and he always asks me of what and I say, our household. Come on. So I am, you know, you've got to keep it together and that's just part of being a mum. There are different things you can implement to do the juggle without the struggle, but I think it's just enjoy it for what that it is. That is a really important like thing to understand. There are seasons in your life, it isn't going to last forever. I work with uh, mums who are either in a crisis, um, single mums that may be just doing life tough and need to go to court, need help with finding housing, um, they may be in a domestic violence situation and they need to flee from, from the home, um, so I'll connect them up with the services that are in our area that actually work and help them to get out of where they're at. Like this, that give Christians a bad rap. Oh, it, it is. It's so unfortunate because uh, we think taking the moral high ground is going to be helpful, but it's it's not really. We should take the high ground of mercy mm -hmm. and be loving these people who are in difficult times. Mm -hmm. 